This is what it looks like when you're climbing in the rain with regular armor. And this is what it looks like when you're climbing in the rain with the froggy set. Look at the difference. You literally cannot fall down. The benefit of this armor is that you won't be able to slip when you are climbing. That way you can climb completely in the rain at any time you want. But we're going to have to go through a bunch of quests in order to get there. So don't worry, I'll make it as fast as I can. But it is a bit of a longer grind than just finding the armor. Let's get into it. The first thing you have to do is go to the Lucky Clover Gazette. This is going to be located all the way to the east of Rito Village. So go over there and it's going to be right at this spot. When you go here, you're going to talk to the girl here and you're also going to see Pen. Once you talk to them, the quest will initiate for the Lucky Gazette, which means now you can visit a bunch of stables in Hyrule in order to get these quests done. And there's quite a bit of them to do. The first of them we're going to be going to is the Woodland Stable. The Woodland Stable is going to be right to the east of Hyrule Castle. Pretty easy to get to. And the closest shrine to it's going to be the Ikok Chu Shrine. This is going to be for the musicians and it's going to be unlocking the fairy quest. What you're going to be doing is talking to these two over here because the fairy is hiding itself away and doesn't want to come out. What you have to do is ultra hand some wheels onto their breezer or their wagon cart. Make sure you have a horse and enough pony points to get a towing harness. That way you can attach that to their wagon and bring them up to the top. Once you make it up to the top of the fairy fountain, a cutscene will play where the fairy will come out and the fairy will reveal all the locations for the other fairies and you can decide to do that other quest line and I cover it in a whole entire video. Now, after you're done with this quest, Hen will then hand you 50 rupees and we can head over to the next one. Now, if for some reason you're doing this quest and you forget about where you were at any point in the game, maybe you watch this video and you click somewhere else and then you come back and you're like, I gotta finish this quest. You can always come back to the Lucky Clover Gazette and talk to this lady here and she'll tell you where you can go to continue on with this quest. And every time you finish a quest, just come right back to her if you want. But you don't have to because, like I said, all the stables are available to go. All right, let's head over to our next stable. The next stable we're going to arrive at is the Snowfield Stable. Snowfield Stable is going to be located pretty much towards the top left of the map. And it's going to be right along the road from the Lucky Clover Gazette up over here. You'll find Penn talking to somebody about Zelda's golden horse and that it ran away and that you have to get it. After you complete this dialogue, you're, what you're going to be doing is heading all the way north. Keep going north and you're going to be seeing a Gliok in the distance. And when you see that Gliok, don't engage it like I do. It is not a good idea unless you can take it out. I was pretty noob when I did this part of the quest. I wasn't a professional Gliok hunter. So what you want to do is from this stable, keep going all the way up north past these ruins. And then you follow along here on camera and you're going to arrive at this part over here by these stones. And you're going to notice that there is maybe a group of horses, but you'll notice the gold horse. It's very very obvious in the snow, you cannot miss it. What you're going to want to do is hop onto it and make sure that it's tamed. Just get on it and your stamina is going to run down. Once you soothe the horse and made sure that you can ride it, you're then going to take this horse all the way back to the stable. Once you return the horse back, you're going to be getting a royal brittle, a royal saddle. You're also going to be getting an energizing elixir and a purple ruby that's worth 50 rupees and as well as a Lucky Clover Gazette fabric. But it's not over here. Make sure to register that horse at the stable because now you are going to be owning a golden horse. I, I named mine Goldie. By the way, when we visit every single stable, make sure that you are finding a shrine close by. That way you have a fast teleport to the stable and make sure you also are talking to every single stable person. That way you can get yourself a pony point just for visiting that area. The next place we're going to arrive is Dueling Peak Stable. The Dueling Peak Stable is pretty much located over here. It's just going to be south of the Sahastra Slope Skyview Tower. So you can hop in that tower and just fly straight down into this area. And that's where you'll find the Dueling Peaks one. Once you're over here, you'll look around, but you probably will not find Pen anywhere close by. So what you want to do is just go ahead and start climbing this thing, because if you can't find a bird on the floor, where do you think the bird's going to be? Up here. Climb to the top of this. And when we get to the top, you're going to find Pen over here. When you talk to Pen, Pen's basically going to be talking about Princess Zelda being kidnapped and that we have to go to dual peaks in order to get Princess Zelda back. So pretty much exactly where you're going to be facing is over here, right straight up there. And we're going to make our climb to the top of this. So let's go ahead and climb it. If you ever come across ascension spots, you should probably use them while you're going up here. And as we're heading to the top, I totally forgot that I do have my, my climbing gear. So <laughs> let me just put this on. If you want to know how to get this, we do have this in one of the other videos. And you should, you'll be able to know where to get all this stuff. And you climb a lot faster. Look at that. Oh, wait a second. Oh, yeah, dude, I'm just going to run this. <laughs> This is at the bottom here, but if you get lucky enough to find this. Okay, 
So basically, once we get to the top here, there's going to be there's going to be a Bokoblin Tower where the archers are. That's where you want to walk right up to. And then we're going to go ahead and look to the left. Once we look to the left, you're then going to see a cage over there. And that's going to look like Princess Zelda. By the way, here's the exact coordinates I am before I do hop over. So look at that. That's where I am at the Dueling Peaks. And we're just going to go over. Once you arrive over here, just lift the cage off of Zelda. And then you're going to find out that, oh my gosh, this isn't Zelda. And it's a Yiga Clan disguise. Then you're just going to go ahead and take these guys out real fast. After you defeat all of them, they're then going to be like, oh, we won't let you off the hook. They're basically like the Team Rocket of the Zelda universe. And they're gone. And then after that, Pen is going to fly down to approach you. And then asking you, have you figured out anything else on your end? You're going to submit the quest of pen. And then he gives you a purple rupee and a red rupee and then heads off. Stable number three complete. The next location that you're going to be heading to is the Outskirts Stable. The Outskirts Stable is pretty much located in this area. So this is the lookout landing and you just have to go a little bit southwest and you'll be able to find the Outskirts Stable. And when you arrive here at Outskirts yeah. Stable, you're going to find Penn and someone else talking facing down this road. Go ahead and interact with them. Mm. And it's going to be talking about a woman who knows a friend of Zelda and whatever the case is. We know it's not mm. Zelda. And if it's someone telling you to go somewhere, it's a Yiga Clan mission. So what you want to do as soon as you visit a dialogue is walk down the road all the way towards where that lady is so just take a quick trip and we're just gonna move forward here and speed up the footage till we arrive at the spot where the lady is so just follow along if you need to then when you arrive at this tree you're gonna talk to her and she's gonna realize that you are link and tell you to go to the next location and that next location is further down the road so continue down the road to meet her again so basically she's just showing up in every new spot to tell you to keep going and follow her further and further so continue following down this road all the way here and we're gonna speed up the footage again so we can get to the next spot once you arrive and talk to her, she's going to tell you that she's going to be going up that cliff over there. She's going to walk into the direction and you just have to go to the exact same spot. So just go ahead and start to climb that cliff. Once you get to the top of the cliff by that little rock, she's going to talk to you again and say, oh, my friend is waiting ahead and she's going to point all the way down to that area where you pretty much just have to paraglide off to. She has some kind of instant transmission where she could just show up at the other side. I don't know. She, this, this this person has some fast teleportation. I, I would love that, that ability. So just go ahead and glide off at this point. And when you arrive, you're going to be in the Great Plateau. Talk to her again. And then she's going to reveal her true self. And once again, it is going to be the Yiga clan. Then you're just gonna go ahead and fight them in combat, take them all out, try to survive, don't die. And once you finish, they're going to blast off again saying, we'll meet you next time, prepare yourself. And then after that, Pen is going to arrive. And when you talk to Pen, Pen's gonna give you a purple rupee as well as the first froggy piece that we have been waiting for, the froggy sleeve. This oh. happens at any mission number four, by the way. Now that you got the first piece of the froggy armor, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that Link can beat Ganondorf. Seriously, it helps out the channel a lot and thank you for supporting me. All right, let's keep going. The next place that you're going to arrive is at the Highland Stable. Highland Stable is pretty much going to be all the way south from Poplar Foothill Skyview Tower, and it's located close to the shrine over here. Now, at Highland Stable, we're going to find Penn, and Penn's going to be talking about a weird voice and something in the distance that is really odd. So what you're going to be doing after that oh. is Penn's going to mention that, are you ready? And then you're going to find Penn in the middle of the field. You're going to walk up to Penn, and you're going to hear the voice again. Yeah. Now, the cool part about this quest is if you actually start listening and angle your character, in a certain direction, you'll hear the voice as you get closer and closer and closer. And then you realize exactly at this point that there is a well right over here. All you gotta do is hop down this well and talk to this lady who basically lets us know that she's actually not a threat and she's singing and everyone's just, just mistranslating what she's saying as something really scary. If you're down here, there's a bunch of weapons here. So if you need some weapons, you can fuse them with these ones over here. After you're done, you're gonna be talking to Pen. And Penn's going to reward you with a silver rupee, which is another 100 rupees. That's pretty good for finishing this quest. The next location that we're going to is going to be the Tabatha Bridge Stable. Tabatha Bridge Stable is probably going to be the most west stable in the game. So it's going to be located over here. And the closest tower to get there is Linder's Brow Skyview Tower. So if you're flying from a tower, you're going to want to head in this direction. And this is the spot. 
right by the Great Bridge area. And over here, you're going to have to find Penn sitting in a spot where there is a bunch of missing goats. There, there would be goats in here, but there's not. And all these white goats have gone missing. And pretty much your job is to go figure out what happened. So you talk to Chork and Chork mentions things about a bunch of pine cones on the floor. And basically, all you have to do is spot that pine cone and pretty much just follow the exact trail of pine cones. So here we go. You're just going to follow along with the footage here. We're going to speed it up and just follow along as we make it to the final destination of the pine cones. When you finally arrive at the destination, you'll notice a bunch of goats there and a bottle. Go to the bottle Whoa. and press on it. And at that point, you'll notice our guy has just magically teleported here, even though you didn't show him the way. I don't know how Chork got over here. And you'll be like, okay, there we go. I have to grind them into powder. Then you're going to talk to Pen, and Pen's going to be like, all right, you completed six missions, buddy. And you're going to be getting the next reward, which is a hundred rupees. I know it's pain that we didn't get another armor piece, but we're going to keep going. The next location that you're going to be heading over to is going to be the wetland stable this is the location of the wetland stable pretty much right from lookout landing you want to go all the way to the east and it's going to be the one towards this spot over here this is the closest shrine to it when you get here just walk to the right of where the stable person is and you'll find pen over here he talked to you about Princess Zelda borrowing someone's farm tools in order to do something and did not return them. So what you're going to do is just come right down to exactly where this raft person is by this body of water. When you're over here, just go ahead and talk to the raft guy. And then you're going to say, do you saw the princess and your pen for the newspaper? I need to get my farm tools back. And pretty much your job here is to lead him over to the sandbar, which is down the water here. So you're going to talk to him. And we say, I can take you. And then you put them on here. And what you want to do is just, you know, set it up where you can drive the guy. So there is the controller. Just ultra hand that real quick and all that. And then we have to shoot the rope in order to keep going to the sandbar. After that, hop on to the vehicle and away we go. So what we're going to be doing here is this pretty much running down this river. It should be easy to control if you put all these parts on it. If you don't put the control stick, you're just going to randomly float down, making it a little bit difficult. So just follow along as we go down this riverbed. And as you're continuing on, he will actually notify you and say things like, OK, it's straight down river. So also pay attention to what he says, just in case of anything if, if you clicked off the video or if you're like, I don't want to listen to Phil anymore, pay attention to him. All right, pretty much just go straight to the dock over here. This is where we're going to be dropping him off. And then a cutscene will enable right after that. At this point, he's going to talk to you and someone's going to come from the sky. And there's Penn again talking about some stuff over here. And then a lady is in the background saying, oh, don't step on my flowers and this is an interesting callback to a special shrine in Breath of the Wild. And then they'll talk about the farm tools and pretty much she'll say, oh, farm tools? This is Princess Zelda's plant sanctuary. And then she went missing. I'll let you read the rest for yourself, but pretty much after you're done, Pen will reward you with a silver rupee and a red rupee. The next place that we're going to be heading towards is the Riverside Stable. Riverside Stable is pretty much going to be from Lookout Landing Skyview Tower, and you're going to head all the way right to here. So it's pretty close here. Another fast port that you can go is from the Sasahara Slope Skyview Tower and just fly to the west in order to get here. And this is the shrine it's right by. Once you arrive here, go back towards a tree. It's gonna be where Penn is staying. It's a little further away. And when you go ahead and talk to Penn, he's gonna be talking about something happening here with the chef is kind of worried about his other boys coming through and they didn't cross the bridge. And he's really concerned. Oh. After you talk to him, he's gonna probably point to the exact spot of where you need to go across the bridge. So then after you talking to him, what you're gonna start to do is just hop over this fence, climb up this hill over here. Then after that, you're gonna go straight and you're going to walk left onto the bridge. After walking towards the bridge and crossing it, you're going to go through the path of the trees, walk straight out until there's no more trees, and then you're going to see their camp in the further distance. Once you reach the camp, you're going to find a bunch of campers around here who are really ill and not feeling too good. Once you talk to them, you see a notebook right by the cooking pot that's going to talk to you about a recipe that Princess Zelda used, and it's going to mention that you need raw meat, 
Hylian rice, and rock salt. Raw meat you can get by just killing any kind of animal you find in the overworld. You can get Hylian rice from East Nekluda by cutting any grass there. Seriously, I tried it and I got rice. Every single time you can get a bunch of rice by just farming it for a little bit of time. And then rock salt you can get from just simply breaking things in the caves. Just break a rock, you most likely will get rock salt. Once you have all three of these items, you gotta go ahead and cook something up. So just throw them in the pot, just like this. And if it's raining, make sure to bring your own cooking pot because in this scene, it was raining for me. All right, let's see what we get. And we got meat and rice bowl. Right after you get the meal, talk to the guy by the tree. He's gonna get it, wake up and be like, oh my gosh, this is delicious. Then all the campers are gonna get up and they find out one of their boys actually put monster parts in their meat, which is why everything was really, really messed up. Then they'll give you back pretty much all the items you use to cook and a raw gourmet meat. After that, you're gonna then talk to Pen and Pen's gonna be like, hey, we did all these things together and we're expecting him to give us a froggy armor. But instead at quest number eight for this, he's given us a silver rupee and a red rupee. And let's move on to the next one. The next location that we're gonna be heading to is going to be the stable over here at South Akala. South Akala stable is gonna be located close to Death Mountain and the fastest travel point to it is the Uri Mountain Skyview Tower. You can fly all the way over here and this is the shrine that is closest to it. Once you're here, go to a tree and you're gonna see our boy Ben by a tree saying a prophecy. And there's apparently going to be a cuckoo that speaks to people on top of this hill, just giving them amazing wisdom on top of this tree. So once Penn tells you about that, make your way up that hill towards the Kuko. Once you're there, you're gonna talk to these people who are in line to get advice. And finally, once you go ahead and talk to this Kuko, it's gonna say, hey, you're looking for Princess Zelda. I know every single thing, but beforehand, you must do these trials that I tell you. The first one is going to be get to the top of the stable's head and you have to get to it in under the time that they said. So you're pretty good at this game by now. You just make it over there and then and climb to the top. Once you're done with that one, you're gonna talk to the bird again. And the bird's like, hey, I need you to chop some three trees and bring them over to me. That's it. I mean, well, logs, but the, pretty much you have to chop the trees. You get those three logs by chopping the trees and then you're gonna ultra hand and fuse them together. And after you fuse them together, you're going to then make your way back. So just chop, 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 make a little like a raft style thing, pick that up with ultra hand and head over back to the chicken. And then at 20 seconds, I was able to make it. My, my record was absolutely amazing. Let me know if you beat that record, by the way. Then after you finish the trial, the chicken's gonna be like, I can't believe you did all this. A talking cuckoo? Ridiculous. So basically, the, the, the goal was to make you really tired and it's a Yiga clan member again coming at you and all you gotta do is take them out. They lose again. And they're like, we'll be back again. Be prepared. Then Penn's gonna come back to you right after that and be like, all right, we did we did more quests. Here you go. Take this. Here's a silver rupee. And you guys will be very excited because on the 10th one you've done, you get froggy leggings. You, got, you have two pieces of froggy gear now. We are almost done. Stick with me. We're gonna do the next one. The next place that we're gonna be going to is the Foothill Stable. Foothill Stable is gonna be located in this area. It's gonna be fully south of Death Mountain and it's gonna be close by Upland Zora Skyview Tower as well as going to the east from the Elden Canyon Skyview Tower. So this is the spot right over here. And over here by the musician spot or this little tent here, depending on if you finished your fairy quest, you'll find our boy Pen. And Pen's gonna talk to us about these men in underpants here. For some reason, these men are just training because Princess Zelda apparently told them something like this. We don't know why Princess Zelda ordered them to fight monsters, but she did in their underpants. Anyway, T says to head up over to this monster den because that's where these people are. So what you want to do is follow this pathway up through this. So just jump down here and we're just going to speed up the footage where we're going to walk up to the area. So just follow this pathway straight up. Okay, now you arrive at the Maw of Death Mountain and you're just going to keep going straight. At this point, you're then going to see two naked guys. Well, not naked, but two guys in their underwear right outside of this little cave with a skull. When you run up to them and approach them, there was a Princess Zelda has given the order and they are kind of scared to go. And when you start to talk to them, you can mention that you want to go in there, but they're like, uh-uh, you got to be in your underwear to deal with these monsters. So that's pretty much going to happen. They're going to they're going to take off your clothes 
and you have to wear as little oh. as possible, and they're gonna hold everything for us. Okay, so when you get in here, the easiest target to take out is one Volcoblin, and you're gonna be taking out the other Volcoblin who has a bow and arrow. The next thing you probably wanna do is go ahead and fuse a rock to your weapon. Fusing a rock to your weapon is gonna help you take out the armored Volcoblin in here. Once you take out that armored Volcoblin, then you're just going to have to fight the Moblin. After that, just go ahead and beat the senses out of the Moblin, and when you finally knock it out, you're then going to clear the area and go ahead and talk to the guys up upstairs walk up to the underwear guys oh. here and you're going to tell them that oh. you defeated the monsters and they're like kind of shocked they go back mm -hmm. to foothill stable so just report back there you're going to see everyone gathered in underwear and you're going to pretty much find out oh. the conclusion of the story and that it was pretty much just a mistranslation oh. that everyone had instead of wearing underpants it was explore all paths and everyone thought oh. underpants all right very cool after you're done with this part, then your pen is going to congratulate you on completing this one. And you're going to be getting a silver rupee and a purple rupee. The next stable is going to be the Gerudo Canyon Stable. Gerudo Canyon Stable is pretty much located right by the desert. And the closest tower to get to it is going to be the Gerudo Canyon Skyview Tower. And you're going to find this pretty much in a valley. When you get here, you're going to find Penn just staring at a well. You're going to talk to him and he's going to say, hey, what's brought you all the way out here? And uh, pretty much that there is a well problem down here and Princess Zelda declared it off limits. And you will kind of want to figure out the reason why. So you're going to basically be going down and finding out what's in there. And this is called the blocked well. So drop down in here. And you're gonna see this rock that is completely sealed off in the area. What you wanna do is go ahead and break this rock. So if you have a bomb arrow, just shoot it. And if you don't have a bomb arrow, you can just grab a rock and break it. Once the wall is broken, you're going to see a bunch of monsters in this room. What I did was I just used a quick trick of shooting muddle buds to make them all fight themselves so I don't have to waste my time fighting them. And then at the end of that, I just started to pick them all off. So I took out these three Lizalfos and then uh, fought a like and then yeah, pretty much after taking out the last Lizalfo, that was the remainder one that I forgot. Pen is then just going to call you. So you basically just clear out all the monsters and you're done with the quest. And then he's going to hand you a silver rupee and hand you another silver rupee. So that's 200 rupees. This is a pretty good money quest. We have one more to go. The next stable that we're going to be heading towards is the New Serene Stable. New Serene Stable is going to be directly located west right from the lookout landing area. And it's the first one that you're going to be bumping into if you go directly west. When you're over here, you're going to talk to Penn and Penn's going to talk about Princess Zelda and some mysterious beast. And he's going to mention that other stables were also rumored to talk about this area. And he also gives you the big hint that this is going to be located in the subtropical region in the south. The stable that you want to go to is going to be the lakeside stable that's located all the way in Farron. So you're going to head over to the lakeside stable. Once you're at the lakeside stable, you're then going to head over to this old man over here who's going to mention something about some strange beasts that are across the little area. Uh, they're called Dondons. After speaking to him, you're gonna go ahead and just cross that area. Once you cross over, just go ahead and talk to the girl over here. Uh, Sima's gonna say a little dialogue to you and then talk about that there are new species in the world that uh, Princess Zelda was taking care of. And they ate something and they just got a mutation. Uh, pretty much when you find out this information from her, she's gonna give you a little background information and then Penn is going to just show up and talk to you about this newly discovered animal. At that point, you're going to be able to fully complete this part of the quest. Penn is then going to give you a gold rupee that is 300 rupees. At that point, once you're done with everything, he says it's a real blast and he heads back to the Lucky Clover Gazette. Make your way back and talk to Tracy over here and Tracy's going to manage to tell you everything. You've done a great job and congratulate you on all that stuff. And she gives you the final piece of armor that you need, which is the Froggy Hood. And if you're wondering where Penn went after, he just went to a location all the way where he's just sitting there and training and, and there's no extra progress. But if you're curious, he went over to this location. And now you can climb in the rain with absolutely no problem. But do you know about this? 